Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and somebody emailed me today and wanting to know, she, they actually it actually sent me a picture of, and asked, how, how is that possible? How can you do that? Well, I've done a video at least one on this, but I can't find it to send it to them, and they're out of the United States, and um, so instead of taking the time and searching all my videos, I just thought I'd redo it. I just picked a font, which is KG, always good time. I made 139 points. I'm going to hit Control K, and it's going to break the fonts apart, or the group of fonts. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of see how they work out in here. We're going to put the M where it's touching there, and then we're going to put the Jackson. And you can, this is what's, Pretty neat about this because it's your deal. You want this just barely overhanging the edge. I would rather have the M on grabbing the circle. And this is why I like drawing in the center of the page because I can put that circle right back where it was. Um, let's say we want that right there for strength. I'm going to, I actually did one and I'm thinking I'm doing exactly like the other one. But then I'm going to take this I'm going to lasso them both and I'm going to convert them to a curve then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to left click no fill right click hairline now this is a different type font and that's why this video isn't kind of redundant that bad because this type font is going to give you a little bit of trouble with welding <clears throat> so I've set, I'm going to set my nudge factor. Let's just see how big this is. It's 4.1. So I'm going to set my nudge distance on 5 inches. And I'm going to take away all the interior parts. Okay, we need to go and break curve apart on each word, each name. Then I can go and just move this out of the way 5 inches up. Move all your interior parts of your letter out of the way and if you forget one it's not that big a deal you can just you'll see it after you do it now tell you what let's group them together and let's move them out of another five inches let's put our circle back in the center of the page with P we're hanging over pretty good I don't see anything wrong with that so now let's just group or lasso everything and let's weld. Okay, we need to take back front, front minus back, or back minus front. I always get confused. But there, it, it did a really good weld. Now go up and just move your arrow key down twice, and you're done. Now this particular circle is 7.5 so we just need to draw another circle and I would suggest 8 inches that would give you a quarter inch of strength all the way around and hit P on the keyboard now you've got your complete structure and this is why I like drawing the center page I forgot to put a in the picture there's a uh, well that's one I just did but there's a uh, place to tie the cord on or the yarn. And this is why I like drawing the center of the page. I'm just going to draw a circle and hit P on the keyboard. And now when I, I'm going to hit the control button or hold down the control button. And now I know it's in the center of my drawing. Let's zoom in here a little bit. Let's just this time, let's just use the virtual segment delete key and just delete these lines we do not need. Well, you know what? I'm, we should have kept maybe that one. Let's take away that, that, and that. Then just take your, you know, whatever circle. This is uh, like less than a quarter of an inch. You could make it a little bit bigger for the yarn. And then just kind of place it in the center. And you're done. And then to check it out, just take your Smart Fill tool and fill it in. And that's what it would look like. It'll be good and strong. There's nothing, it's, you know, got three places hooked to the circle. 
Anyway, I hope to help them a little bit, and thank you for watching.